We are about to enter a period of medicine that will have the greatest demand for care in the history of humankind. The number of patient biopsies that will be coming to pathologists is going to increase exponentially. The number of pathologists is flat. So how are we going to handle this over the next 30 years? The only solution is to innovate. A gentleman named Virkow, he brought together an emerging technology of the day, which was the chemistry to dye clothing with very thinly cut tissue sections. And those two things together allowed him and others to visualize the components of cells that had, had never been possible before. And with that started uh, what we now call surgical pathology. That 140-year-old technology is basically unchanged. That is now being transformed by high compute and machine learning. Because these pathology images are so large, right, they're gigabytes images and they're so information rich, it does take the human pathologists quite a lot of time to interpret what's going on in each image. And they have to often figure out from this big image, which have tens of thousands of cells, you know, what are some small minutiae of cells that look different that could potentially be indicators of you know, cancer, tumor, different other diseases. And this is where we think that AI can be very helpful as assistant. We should create a human in the loop AI that would help our pathologists be better at reaching the diagnosis, not tell them what the diagnosis is. And James took that idea and ran with it. Nuclei.io is an AI platform that we developed that allows pathologists to very easily adapt AI models to their personal needs. Maybe the algorithms say, okay, maybe you might have miss this part of the image, can you take a second look, right? Or maybe algorithms say, okay, this part of the image looks like the most malignant cells. They also allow pathologists to share their models with their colleagues, almost like a social network. They can say, okay, let's actually get the five best pathologists in the world and their models, right? And have each of those five models actually also make a prediction on the same image. And then use each other's models to help them to improve their diagnosis or decisions. What's quite really exciting to me about the Nuclear I.O. is that we have actually have done a lot of user studies with our pathology colleagues here at Stanford, so they're actually using these models and then seeing how much can the algorithm, the AI, improve their performance. They're usually a little bit more uniform. I can't tell if this is some air dry, you know, artifact. Yeah, because they look so small on the uh, cell block. Exactly, and so a lot of these are small, and then there's some larger ones kind of scattered throughout, which of course you can see in like, you know, higher grade tumors, but it could also be artifact. When we're doing the reader study and we're using the AI, it's fantastic. When we can't use the AI, it's like we just want to leave the room essentially because it's so tedious. Within this stromal portion of the biopsy, I'm looking for plasma cells. In order for us to not miss the plasma cell, what we do frequently would be to order a CD138 immunohistochemical stain, and that requires additional effort, additional cost, and additional day. Now with Nuclei.io, just from the h &E, so no extra stain is needed, the AI, which has been trained by the pathologist, will help us find the plasma cells which would just take a few seconds rather than several minutes, five minutes to 10 minutes that might take me to scan through the entire biopsy specimen. I was ready to just get the list of possible plasma cells um, to speed it up. Um, it's, it's hard to go back to just searching through the, the slides um, unassisted. There are hundreds of thousands of these biopsy samples that come through just our medical center each year. And a key component of this work is what's called turnaround time. Patients are waiting for what medicines, what treatment protocols are going to be put on. Many times enrollment in clinical trials, 
especially for cancer, are dependent on the outcome of the surgical pathology results. AI has tremendous potential right, to change medicine, to change healthcare. In order for AI to really achieve its full potential, we also need to engender trust. This is where this human in the loop process come in. The human pathologists will still make the final decisions, right, make the final diagnosis, but they will be guided in that diagnosis and decision. This was the future of pathology and that uh, we could lead or follow. And Stanford is committed to leading. The solution that Nuclei IO presents is to make that limited number of pathologists faster. What we also discovered is that that made them safer. They had greater confidence. And that's everybody's goal from the very beginning. I'm excited to get Nuclei IO deployed in Stanford Healthcare, and we have a path to doing that. And I'm excited about you know what's next.